Russia impressed in their opening two games at Euro 2012. And coach Dick Advocat will be hoping for more of the same when they face Greece on Saturday. The Russians hammered the Czech Republic 4-1 in their first Group A match and will feel they should have beaten co-host Poland in their one-all draw. A point in their final group fixture at the National Stadium in Warsaw will be enough for them to reach the last eight. They'll be hoping that star player Alan Zagoev, who scored three goals in two matches, will continue his strong form. The CSKA Moscow midfielder, linked with a move to many top European clubs, is modest about his success in the tournament so far. I don't think I've played two particularly good games. Of course, I scored in both games, but I lost possession a lot too. I do not know what will happen after the tournament, we will see. I'm willing to try and play at other clubs in Europe, but I will think about this after the tournament. Another player who Russia will look to for goals is captain Andre Ashevin. Some felt he should have been substituted in the last match, but Advocat disagrees. It's nothing to do with being important. He is the captain and he did lose the ball a lot. And that can cost you the game. But I left him in for the simple fact that he's a player who can score out of nothing. He's the sort of player who can change things. While Russia can't progress with any result, it's do or die for Greece. After a one-all draw with Poland in their opening game, the Euro 2004 winners then lost 2-1 to the Czech Republic and now sit bottom of the group. Fernando Santos's side need a win at all costs. Greece have only beaten Russia once in the past 10 meetings between the teams. But if they can produce a match-winning display, they'll end Russia's unbeaten run of 16 games.